Hello again, as you can see here, I just uh, exported the conceptual mass into the Revit uh, project file and I can just simply go ahead and uh, close that file I, I just as I just don't need it anymore and in this place uh, you, you might I just I just pose this or actually I just separate that in a different videos because uh, I tried that like four or five times as I said and it keep crashing with the, my video recorder because it's a really painful and slow process uh, consuming all the RAM so uh, you know if you didn't know how, if you don't know how to do it it's a good idea to go back for my previous uh, tutorial about conceptual mass towers and have a look of you know the steps and probably it's just you press the, the project and load into the project but you have to be very painful painfully uh, uh, patient and then not to move your mouse not to click anything and then wait for like a three four five minutes it depend on how fast your machine in order to place that any mistake if you move the mouse slightly it's gonna even crash or regenerate the whole thing that's why I separate that anyway uh, we'll just go to the level one now and then zoom in I'll just select this and have move and snap it from this point to this point Now make sure it's everything is okay in 3D. It is beautiful. Now we go to East Innovation. Now I'm just zooming to the levels down here. As you can see, it's a uh, slow file again I'll change the floor height to 5 and then I'll make a ray 5 meter up and I'll make the repetition like uh, 57 so generating like uh, almost the required amount of floors see it's almost 58 that's what I want so I'm gonna go back to 3d so simply go to massing inside and then zoom in and then select the mass and go to uh, mass floors and then you go ahead select the first one then scroll down select the last one and then hit tick it's gonna generate a mass floor for you in each level and I will pause because it's really painfully slow Now, as you can see, Rivet managed to create a conceptual mass floor in all the levels that we have. Now, all that we have to do is to go again to massing inside and just select the floor <clears throat> by face. select all here and you can just select the type of the floor you want from the side I'll just give it the default and just go ahead and create floor it might take also a couple of minutes so probably I'll pause but uh, it's a uh, time worth uh, to wait for it's generating the entire floors for us in a couple of minutes so it's okay oh great it's actually did that so beautiful so far so good now if you turn off the visibility for 
the mass itself you can see it's generate or it's actually placed a floor here for you at the exact correct place and that's really really nice to be done if you want to get back the mass again that would be a good idea to finalize the work and you just uh, use it to place some uh, wall here by face so I'm gonna use the brick walls on those small side walls that's curvy walls it might be uh, you know those three small things it's gonna accept the brick but when I try that on the big ones here uh, some of them won't accept so just be patient with it just choose another type of wall if it doesn't accept the brick now as you can see after we finish uh, doing the walls and I turn on some shadows and some of the uh, uh, the conceptual mass actually I also uh, hide it and you can see that uh, we finish the the tower as you can see and it has all uh, the uh, physical rivet slabs with the adaptive component walls been placed in all the in all the curved sided part of the tower and it's you can see it's uh, it's a little bit slow on my machine so uh, hopefully you have a better laptops than mine that can do the uh, complicated uh, job in a uh, much easier and much faster uh, way than I have it in here and again you can uh, you can see that uh, it's a fully detailed and it's uh, uh, done in a really good way to to compare them to the uh, the ability to use dynamo to create and generate automatically such a so geometries by dynamo anyway uh, you can go ahead if you want and, and generate some views because uh, plans I plan view sorry because you see here uh, we don't have just floor one and floor two so we generated levels but we didn't generate uh, we generate levels we generate slabs for them but we did not create floor so go ahead and create floor and just pick up whatever level you want to create floor in it so I'll pick anyone randomly and Revit will generate that for me and in it you probably need to manipulate the view range uh, select nothing or deselect the whole thing and then just go ahead sorry in the view range and you either make it uh, the amount of view you see less than what we have in here Yeah, that's the view range so you don't see those things or you just make its ultimate in the depth so you see everything from that level and below it depend on what you want or what your preference is or the company you work for uh, actually desire and uh, that's about it guys I, I, I wish that you find this uh, uh, video useful uh, I'll try in the next videos to make uh, the adaptive component that run vertically uh, all the way with the curvature of the uh, adaptive component here. So those uh, louvers, vertical louvers, sorry, that run uh, vertically on the adaptive component. I wish that you find this uh, video useful. Thank you very much for watching and have a